cook it low and slow and then you cook it hot and fast. Emma is gonna show you guys how to cook the best steak in the world. I've tried every combination, every permutation of cooking steaks, either grilled, barbecued, propane. I don't cook with propane. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that. Grill, smoke, air fryer, cast iron skillet, put it in the oven, broil it. I have done everything except I haven't put it in the microwave. And this is gonna be by far the best steak you can make. Oh gosh, the goats are coming, the goats are coming. We're in trouble, we're in trouble. Like this, and then you go like this. Bam! Carrie here from Healing Humanity, and Emma said I need to be more energetic. Today, I'm gonna to show you, I'm gonna show Emma. Emma's gonna do the whole thing how to cook the best steak in the world. I am coming up on 365 days of eating only meat. And believe it or not, I've had absolutely no caffeine whatsoever. This is all meat power. The first thing you need to know, you gotta have high quality food. You wanna get grass fed, grass finished beef locally if you can. If you can, we're so blessed that we can do that, but I get so many comments from people that can't do that, they can't find a local farmer. Look for a local farmer. If you can't, this video is brought to you by ButcherBox. They will deliver grass-fed, grass-finished, regenerative, really high-quality meat that is responsibly and humanely raised. High-quality meat and seafood, boom. Look at this, standards in every step from farm to plate, grass-fed beef free-range poultry, pork-raised, crate-free, wild-caught seafood. You wanna have good meat? Emma, this is your lesson. This is the first lesson. Fresh ingredients. You pull your steak out and you let it get up to room temperature. You don't wanna cook a cold steak or frozen steak because the inside of it will be raw and the outside of it will be overcooked. You wanna get a consistent temperature. This meat, you see this color, Emma? Look at the color. Are you looking? Yeah, Are you looking? Is everyone at home looking? This is the color you want of your meat. Pull the meat out early, you let it sit for a little while, you let it warm up. But this right here, this, I have tried everything over the last 365 days. This is the best combination. There's a couple ways you can make steak. I like to smoke it low and slow on the pellet smoker. That's what Emma's gonna do, but you don't have to do that. You can put it in an air fryer. Look, we have an air fryer over here. I will put this on the lowest setting and I'll just cook it just barely until it gets to about 115 degrees. And then this is the magic trick right here. Wagyu beef tallow. We buy this on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link so I can help pay so Emma can afford more steaks. If you buy this, we'll get a little commission, but you put this in a cast iron skillet. 30 seconds. It's gonna be fantastic. Not a non-stick Teflon forever chemical skillet. Cast iron skillet, a lot of this. You put it in there, warm it up. You get, it, you get this either smoked or in your air fryer or in your oven. You can cook it low and slow. And, and then you cook it hot and fast. The sizzle. Cast iron skillet, beef wagyu. We're gonna do it a little bit differently today, but it's all about the ingredients. So we do that. I like to add a little Kerrygold butter at the end, and this is the game changer. These two right here, Malden sea salt. This is flaky sea salt. Look at, look at, look at. This is game changer. Texture, taste, everything, it's fantastic. Or if you don't have this, we've been using this. I use this for the majority of my carnivore time. Redmond's real salt, ancient fine sea salt. This has the good stuff in it. Emma, why do we use the good salt? Because the table salt you get, this cheap garbage right here, a lot of the table salt you get is bleached and there's dextrose in it. Dextrose is sugar. Emma, you were a vegan for how many years? Nearly five years. And you need to relearn everything now. We're not boiling uh, broccoli and cauliflower anymore. We're gonna, we're gonna sizzle some delicious, fantastic steaks. All right, we're gonna go outside right now and Emma's gonna do everything, you ready? One of the other tips of the trade, Having a Bluetooth thermometer, you cook your steak to temperature. You don't cook it to time. Say that with me, Emma. Say it with me. I forgot. You cook your steak to temperature. No! You cook your steak to temperature. Not time. Not time. That means you measure the temperature and when it gets to the proper temperature, that's when you pull it. You don't say, oh, it's been five minutes. What happened over here? Yeah, look what happened over here. You get to clean all this up, Emma. That's what happens when you have goats. This is a pellet smoker. And inside the pellet smoker, Emma, 
we have cherry pellets. Those are little wood pellets made from cherry wood and that gives the steak a really good flavor. But here, right here, Emma, is the most important part. Hold that up for me, please. That is a Bluetooth thermometer. Now they sell thermometers, you can just get from the store, you put them in there, instant read thermometers. That is what you want to use so that your steak comes out perfect. We like to get our steak to 110 degrees on the smoker, and then we're gonna put it in this little bit, bad boy right here. This is an egg grill, and it gets incredibly hot. We can get this thing so hot. So you could sear it on a cast iron skillet, right? Like we talked about, yeah. or you could get it really hot on here. Just hitting the power button, guys, look. Beep. Now you gotta turn the temperature down because it defaults to a higher temperature. Down to 225, that's the number you want, is 225. You're gonna get dirty. Grilling is dirty. Yeah, just grab a handful off the chair where it's meant, oh gosh, the goats are coming, the goats are coming. Okay. We're in trouble, we're in trouble. Look, it's a parade of idiots, Emma. They're all coming here, there's chickens, there's goats, what is going on? Okay, there's a proper way to light charcoal, Emma, and it's not with lighter fluid. You get one of these little electric heaters. We're not gonna show that on here because your dad's an idiot and I don't have that little heater, so we're gonna light this thing improperly. Sprinkle it all around, okay. Okay, my fingers are Okay, I'm gonna do it. You're doing everything. Play with fire for a little bit. Put that in there. I'll Carefully. The oh my god, he's <laughs> Stop eating the charcoal! Oh my goodness. This is Stop exactly how not to do it. it. Yeah, just put it in there, why not? What could possibly go wrong? Okay, we're gonna get the charcoal going. Okay, isn't that fun playing with fire? No, yeah. leave it open for a little while. And we gotta brush this off and make sure that's nice and clean. Right here on the right, it says 66. That's the box and 49. That's gonna to get to 225, the 49 is this probe. We wanna get this probe to 110, 115, and then we finish the steaks on here with a nice sear and sizzle. We don't wanna overcook them. We got the boys out here playing in the yard. Baxter, Ray, come on, carnivores. Here, this guy wants some steak down here. Baxter, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Show him a smile. Show him a smile, Baxter. You need air for a good fire. If you just close this, you don't have any air, so we're gonna close it eventually, but we have the top of it open right here, this lid. And then down here, this thing opens. So you wanna open open that bottom part up right there. You can see it's got a gauge like this and you can see uh, searing is that red part. As a carnivore. You have a booger in your nose. Do I? Oh God, that better not have been on the whole video. Look at, they're having a duel. They're looking at each other. Three, two, one. Oh wait, it's still recording. There he goes, there he goes. I knew he was gonna fight him. Get him, get him. Seriously, okay. they were not like that before. So carnival. another thing, we thought that the dogs were getting old because they never played at all. But it turns out it's the food we're feeding them. Ever since we fed them raw food, they're just so energetic and always playing. Ray was always a skinnier man, and now he's literally muscular. Baxter is always chubbier, and now he's muscular, and they play all the time. And their fur is so soft. I wish I knew how to whistle. Can you whistle for me? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Ray, you're a good boy. Ray, you're a good boy. Ray, do you want some steaks from Butcher Box? Do you want them to send you your own little box of steaks? Hey, can, can I get a knife? A good carnivore always has a knife on them, especially the Spyderco approved Bill Knott knife. Careful, that thing's dangerous. Bill Knott told me that he flipped that thing open so fast it created a nuclear reaction. And oh, I it, bet. It's almost like the atom bomb going off. Top, yep. Just put it like that way. That way or the oh, other way? Perfect. See that nice fat on there, Emma? Yeah, she's saving the juice too. Good good move, good move. Okay, so we got two steaks. Now you gotta take this probe and stick it in and it's gotta be right, it's gotta be right in the middle. Follow? There you go. That's good. All right, now we shut it. Now you can set a little alert on your phone, but you see that number right there? Look at that number and tell me what it says. 48. 48, that is the internal temperature of the steak. We want the internal temperature to be about 110, 115. Oh wow, okay. You don't eat it at 110, 115, Emma, you know that, right? I do now. You don't, you get, you get it more to like 135, 140. We're gonna do it at 110 and then we're gonna put it on there and that's gonna finish it. It'll come out perfect. So a lot of these, this little thermometer, a lot of these, um, mine is Bluetooth. It'll ring me on my phone because I got my phone set up for that. Okay, there we go. some whistling music. So I'm teaching Emma how to cook steak. I got charcoal on my hands. Our carnivore dogs are playing in the background there. 
The biggest trick to cooking steak is temperature, temperature, temperature. If you overcook it, you're gonna ruin it. That's the easiest way to do it. This is incredible because as carnivores, we only use salt, right, Emma? Right. No seasoning, no steak. However, we're using cherry wood pellets on that smoker. And when you put the cherry wood in there, it gives it, the steak actually turns red, but you get this nice flavor from the wood, but there's no spices in it. He's really mad that you put all the charcoal away. So that gives you some really good flavor. And then when you finish it on this charcoal, oh, it is fantastic. So I got this closed now, the temperature's rising. This is wide open, this is wide open. Oxygen makes more fire. This is gonna get nice and hot. Ooh, that's looking pretty darn close. Okay. You see how they get kind of pale like that? They look kind of gray or pale? Yeah. That means they're just about ready to throw on. Baxter, Baxter. Baxter, Baxter, give me the news, I gotta. One. All right, Emma, our temperatures are up to temperature on the temperature reading thing. So it's time to transfer them. This is the fun part. So first you gotta pull the thermometer out. It's gonna be kind of hot. There you go, yep. Pull it by the wire, there you go. All right, now grab one of the steaks. Do not it drop it. So okay. Oh, no. you got a hand. <laughs> hear that sizzle? Oh, that's the sound you like to hear. It smells All so right. good too. Next one. Boom. We'll get the 360 shot. All right, close the lid. Now we wait. Now, now we, we wait. wait. It's gonna be perfect. The trick is low and slow like this, and then hot and fast like this. Look at that smoke coming out. That is hot and fast. Don't let these burn. Let's go, look, it's getting real hot. You gotta leave them on a little bit longer than you'd think though. Oh my god! Look at that, look at that. See, okay, now here's the so trick, special. here's the trick. Oh, this is gonna be a hard part to teach you. Pick that up, pick this side up and set it right there so that it's on top of that one. Just trust me, because we want to get cross marks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not over this way more. Okay, now put that one that way. Then you're going to get a cross hatch mark. Oh. Because you have marks that way and then you'll have marks that way. This way? Yes. Okay, now just let it sit. Don't touch it, except this one's up a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we should have an instant read thermometer and you could poke it in there to check it. One other trick is if you touch it, Touch it like that. You feel how you feel how firm it is. Yeah. If it was really, if it was really not firm, like put your hand out once like this, sure. right here. Feel right there. That is rare. That's what the steak would feel like. Rare. It's done. It's definitely done. All right. So pull them off. We're gonna let them rest. Just use. Your, why are you using tongs? You're a carnivore. Just use your bare hands. There you go. There you go. That's my steak. Be careful. Okay, you see how they're resting? They're on the rack. We got airflow underneath oh, them. So we can good. take them in the house now. 10 minutes now and then we can eat. This is the ultimate test. When you carry this, Emma, oh my goodness, put your finger on the rack or it'll slide right off. There you go. And take your time. Like imagine that that's a million dollars on there. You drop those sticks, you're done. Look at that. Would you look? Look at that. Today's video is brought to you by Butcher Box. Butcher Box. All right, Emma, are you ready for the moment of truth? Yes. We're going to take that steak right there. Take it <laughs> with your bare hands because you're a carnivore. Right there. Before you do anything with it, you have to season. What are we using for seasoning, you might ask? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Shout Malden? out, shout out Adam, Malden? carnivore today. Malden Sea Salt. Malden. We will have a link in the description for this. And we'll have a link in the description for this. You gotta really make it rain, sprinkle it all around the whole steak. You get it on the cutting board and then you can dip it. Dip the steak in it. Oh, oh my god. It's juicy and perfect. Here, Ooh. hold it up. Yeah, cut it and then hold it up so we can see. That is a perfectly cooked piece of steak. Oh, that's not a bite steak. Vegan me would have never have thought that I'd be doing this ever again. Is it good? It's so good, oh my god. Would you be honest if it wasn't good? Of course. Is it really good? That's grass fed, grass finished. Put that like that. <laughs> it's cooked perfectly. You... It's rare, it's just nice and rare. Look how we cook that. Yeah, sorry, bye Emma. 
You get that steak. This one's mine. Oh my goodness. It is really good. You know why it's so good? Can you taste it? Like when you taste it, you can taste a little bit of the cherry smoke, which is great. But then you can taste the char. You get, that's the charcoal. You get that fiery, smoky charcoal taste on the outside of it. So now you can do this by yourself, right, Emma? Mm -hmm. I always feel bad like people are thinking that I'm just playing this up for the camera. Legitimately, it feels like every time I have another steak, it's better than the last one. That is so good with that charcoal on there. Look at that cook. No, I haven't had a good steak in the longest time, and this is so good. So good to know that it came from a great loving place, and it's grass-fed and free-range. Absolutely love it. Love to see it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. How am I supposed to eat another bite if my hands are stuck in the air like this? See why? Look, look, look at, look at. Let me, uh oh. You gotta get Baxter one, Baxter helped. No, he ain't getting none of this. He needs a bite. This way, let me show them this once. This is really important, Emma. This is a learning experience. Look at this. Come here and look at this. Okay. Do you see the color? Do you see it? Look at the color on this steak. Do you see it? It's beautiful. The camera's but not doing justice. My point is it's all the same color. If you put the steak on cold right out of the fridge, the inside would be raw. The outside would be great. It's a consistent color. It's a consistent tenderness. Oh, it's so okay, good. Let's eat. <laughs> Here's the other steak. Look at, you see the fat on there? That is beautiful. Oh. Oh, oh. Perfection. Absolute, see there, you want a quarter inch cut like that. Quarter inch cut and you put it down. Quarter inch cut, you put it down. One more. Quarter inch cut. Quarter inch put cut. It in put it down. Now I gotta do a third one. Quarter inch cut, you put it down like this. Look, once you get them down like that, you take the salt and you go like this, and then you go like this. Bam! Sorry, Baxter. Do you see that fat? Yeah. What color is it? yellowish i don't know if it shows up on camera it's a little yellow that yellow fat that is the good fat you want to get this is grass-fed grass finished problem though is oftentimes with grass-fed grass finished it tastes kind of grassy or gamey or it's got this weird sort of optic this one does not at all grass-fed grass does this taste weird to you at all no it tastes amazing most people that eat grass-fed grass finished steak they'll say it's got a weird taste to what? it. what what mm -mm. Mm -mm. i never heard of that when you do this, salting, your both of your feet have to get up off the ground for the last part of it. You go like this, you go, BAM! <laughs> Baxter's really scared right now. You earned it, buddy. Nice, 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 nice. Good boy. How was that? Ray's not, Ray's not having any of that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're giving the dogs that steak. That's it, the rest is mine. Good boy. Today's video was sponsored by ButcherBox. Huge thank you to them. We don't often do this. There's a link in the description below if you want to try it out yourself. This steak is absolutely fantastic. And if anyone in the world knows steak, it's this guy right here. 360-ish days. I'm almost on one year of eating almost entirely steak every single day. I've eaten nothing but meat, beef, butter, bacon, eggs. Usually a steak every single day. This is incredible. I will be getting more. You can go on their website. There's a link in the description below. Um, if you order it, it's free shipping. It comes right to your door. It's frozen. It's all packed away. It's so nice and convenient. It is um, responsibly raised, humanely raised meat. There's no antibiotics in it. It's grass fed, grass finished. Uh, besides all of that, look at this meat. Just look at this steak. This is incredible. Really, really good. I feel like People think I'm just hyping it up for the camera. I am I am always honest in my videos. I'm not hyping this up. I have had hundreds of steaks. This is absolutely fantastic. It's delicious. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about our documentary, Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet, visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. We have these shirts for sale. Every penny from these shirts goes to support our documentary. Why are we doing this documentary? Because my daughter Emma holding the camera came up with this big idea. She came up with compassionate carnivore shirts, which we also sell every penny for the documentary. We said, let's do a documentary so we can help people. We've already filmed Bill Knott, we filmed Maggie, we filmed Jeff to Prosperous. We were just down in Tennessee filming the one and only Dr. Ken Berry. I believe this documentary is gonna help the hopeless. And there's so many other stories out there that need to be told. 
We're trying to raise more funds so we can continue filming the rest of the documentary. You can donate. You can help. You can make a difference at donate.healinghumanity.movie. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to finish the steak now. Beep. Beep.